Hey, what's up YouTube? It's me again, Matt, or Tech on Site of TheBeatPC.com. I'll show you a quick tour on my HTPC setup. My purpose of this video is to give information on what hardwares and what softwares needed to set up a home theater PC. So let's get started. This, uh, this setup is actually a very simple one. I'm not an audiophile uh, type of person. Uh, it's very simple. Most of the items here are an old hardware, but um, I'm happy with it because uh, it makes the job uh, well done and it performs its uh, purpose. Now, um, for, for my AVR or my audio video receiver, I'm using a Pioneer VSX521. Uh, so this is uh, an entry level um, AVR receiver but uh, for the hardware that I have um, it's uh, quite compatible and it makes the job done okay so this is a 5.1 uh, channel uh, AVR it has um, uh, multiple uh, HDMI ports and um, for its uh, price it's a uh, bang for the buck and um, this is my home theater PC. I set this up uh, year 2012 and it has a uh, Intel processor uh, 3770K and uh, it's an unlock so it's uh, around uh, it's running on uh, 3.2 gigahertz and it's unlocked to uh, 3.4 gigahertz. It uses a uh, Radeon 6670K um, video card so aside from um, the HTPC purpose, I can do some uh, some gaming uh, as well. And to make the boot up uh, faster, I used an Intel 330 60 gigabyte uh, SSD. So it um, it boots up uh, well. Uh, it boots uh, fast enough. And I'm using a um, um, two terabyte Western Digital Green to store my movies. And uh, beside the home theater PC, I also have a Western Digital um, Essential uh, 1.5 uh, terabyte to store some of my music files and uh, movies as well. Now, going back to the home theater PC, um, I have a, a 16 gigabyte uh, G Skill RAM here, and um, I um, I upgraded the uh, stock uh, cooler to a, um, a custom uh, Salman uh, cooler. Okay, so that's my uh, HTPC setup. And um, uh, again, it uses a 3770K processor, 16 gigabyte RAM, an Intel uh, 330 um, uh, SSD uh, to store my operating system. And to store my files and movies and music files, I used a two terabyte Western Digital Green uh, hard drive. Now, uh, for my front speakers, there you go. This is a um, Sony Sony uh, SS X9S. Um, it's a floor standard speaker. I got this is a, a very old um, this is an old uh, hardware speaker but um, I'm happy with its uh, performance um, it's it's a budget type uh, front speakers I got this from sights and sound uh, in Shangri-La it's part of their uh, liquidation sale and um, for it, it's a floor standard but um, uh, I got this uh, very cheap and um, this weighs about uh, 50 to 60 uh, kilogram per speaker. It, it, it's a uh, three-way uh, speaker with a uh, tweeter. And, um, and um, I'm surprised for its uh, bass and uh, it has also um, um, some uh, medium uh, to high mids. And um, it's already uh, magnetically shielded and its uh, maximum input power is 250 watts and um, I think it's good enough uh, for the Pioneer uh, VSX521K uh, receiver that I have. Okay, so again, uh, that is the uh, my front, which is a Sony um, 
SS uh, X9S uh, floor standard speaker. There you go. So that's my front. Okay. For my center speaker, um, I have a, a Polk Audio uh, CS10. Great. Okay, so this is again uh, another uh, bang for the buck um, um, center speaker. Um, the only thing here is um, I'm not uh, impressed with this uh, center uh, speaker, but uh, since it's a um, um, it is a budget type uh, um, center speaker, so I'm happy with it uh, as well. But um, if I have a chance to upgrade, I would go for a Polk Audio um, uh, CSI A6, which is a bigger uh, center speaker. So this is where um, most of the um, uh, audio sound comes from during movies. All the uh, uh, conversations and uh, uh, verbal uh, communication uh, comes from. So this is a... Um, um, important uh, part of a home theater um, uh, setup, especially for a 5.1 setup. Uh, it matters most uh, during movies, during the conversation. Okay, so um, on, for my subwoofer, there you go. So this is a uh, Boston uh, Acoustics uh, ASW250. It, it's, it has a uh, 250 watt uh, pick and uh, it has a 10 inch uh, um, speaker and it's uh, a down firing subwoofer now the good thing about uh, down firing subwoofer is you can put it uh, anywhere um, because uh, it's down firing you can feel the uh, um, uh, the bump when you're sitting up sitting on a couch so that's the advantage of a uh, down firing subwoofer Again, uh, this is the Boston Acoustics ASW250. It's a down-firing subwoofer. Okay, now for my surround, okay, for my surround, I'm using a uh, a Polk Audio uh, TSI 100. There you go. So it's a uh, simple uh, surround. Uh, speaker for my rear again uh, this is the uh, TSI uh, 100 okay now going back to so my screen okay so this is uh, one of the essential part of my home theater PC for the software I'm using solely um, XBMC okay so this uh, XBMC is uh, this is a uh, media uh, software this uh, this is where all my movies are uh, and music files are organized the good thing about this uh, XBMC is okay there you go so you have some uh, thumbnails of the movies um, that I have so in here it shows that I have 914 movies and uh, it shows also its uh, total duration um, I have set up another video on um, on uh, XBMC and uh, how to set up a, a uh, XBMC remote so you may want to uh, check it out now um, Part of um, my uh, XBMC setup, I used the XBMC remote, so that's one of the good part of this um, XBMC. I can use it. I can use my smartphone to uh, control my screen. Okay, there you go. I'm showing this one here. So if I want to control it, there you go. So I'm controlling it using an, an XBMC, using my smartphone with uh, XBMC remote. I can play the movie that I want. I can also pause 
for play it again there you go so I'm doing it remotely using my smartphone okay so I think um, that's all about it uh, this is my simple um, HTPC setup okay. um, there are a lot of uh, um, available information in the net you can go to pinoydvd.com or some uh, audio file um, uh, websites for you to have uh, an idea on how to set up your own um, HTPC uh, setup or home theater setup so again, uh, it's me again, Matt, or tech on site at tupidpc.com. Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's me again, Matt, or tech on site. I'm an online seller of computer parts and accessories at www.tupidpc.com. You can look for my items by searching my username, tech on site. And this is my YouTube channel. I do unboxing videos and tech reviews. So don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel so you can get updates. Um, videos and regularly uploading every week. See ya!